Here are the top five stories you need to know about this Tuesday morning. Two summer camp programs for Chico Unified Schools are back for the season. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live at the Chico Unified office. Diego, what does this mean for the families and their students? Kelly, it's not just to keep the kids engaged academically, but also for parents. Some parents need their kids to be in a safe, supervised environment. Uh, Chico Unified School summer, summer Camp now has 12 elementary courses and three junior high programs involved. This year, 1,600 students are, in, are enrolled in the free summer program. These summer camps give kids and their families the opportunity to not only expand their learning, but try out new activities. The summer camp includes field trips and free meals and educational activities. The camp runs through most of the month of June. The school year starts again on August 12th. Back to you, Kelly. We've been telling you about the proposed sales tax increase in Butte County today. The Butte County Board of Supervisors could vote to move forward with getting it on the November ballot. It will be discussed at today's supervisors meeting in Oroville. The board will hear a presentation about how costs have outpaced their revenues. County officials say without this sales tax increase, they'll have to reduce services like closing fire stations, hiring fewer deputies and closing libraries. The move would raise Butte County sales tax to 8.25 percent. It would go to 9.25 percent in Chico. The board will discuss it starting at 10 a.m. That is new video showing Cal Fire putting out the flames at the Cod Fire in northern Siskiyou County. New numbers in the last hour show that fire is now 50 percent contained. It stayed the same overnight in acreage at 28 acres. The fire started around 6 last night, 15 miles northeast of Wairika in the Hornbrook area. The sheriff's office had issued evacuation orders, but those have been lifted and there are no reports of any structures burned. The cause is under investigation. Today, Shasta County man accused of killing three people will be in court after his arraignment was previously delayed two times. Michael Merriman faces a long list of charges, including murder and arson. In April, a welfare check in Lakehead for 75-year-old Pamela Castleberry showed signs that her home had been burglarized. Castleberry was found dead in her car 30 miles away in Bella Vista. Days after that, two more bodies were found in the same area. He'll be in court at 8.30. And today, Shasta County takes the next step in finding a new county clerk registrar of voters. Kathy Darling Allen retired in May after months of criticism from some community members and some supervisors over the handling of elections. There are at least 27 applicants for the position. The public interviews are scheduled to begin one week from today on June 19th and 18th with 45 minutes allowed for each candidate. A three-person panel is reviewing the applications. They must unanimously agree before they advance a candidate to the public phase. Uh, today, the supervisors will review the interview and selection process.